welcome. I'm so excited that you're here with me today because today is Demonstrator Thursday. Um, today we are going to be talking about what to do with your weekly paycheck. This is actually something that I struggle with myself and I thought that we could kind of explore some options in how to tackle it and maybe going into the new year we could come up with a plan. So first I want to explain what weekly pay is and I want to thank Cheryl for submitting this question. A lot of times I get my ideas for videos based on the questions that you guys submit to me. Um, it's really hard for somebody to just come up with stuff all the time to talk about so when you submit questions to me that can kind of trigger something and I can go oh I need to address that. <clears throat> so the first thing I want to say is if you're watching this video and you're expecting to see crafting today, there will not be any crafting in this video. I have over a thousand YouTube videos that are nothing but crafting and you can check out one of those. And the links for shopping with me and stuff like that are in the description below all of those videos. This video is focused towards budgeting for your Stampin' Up! business and running a Stampin' Up! business. If you want to purchase my business budget workbook, you can purchase it at the link below the video. Anytime there is an update to the workbook, which isn't very oft often, we've only had one update, um, you will get it for free. So once you've purchased it, you will always get that, um, that workbook free in the future when there is an update. It's printable, it is not something I send to you in the mail, it is something that you have um, access to print at your home and you can just reprint it over and over again every year to use. In fact, I'm getting ready to reprint mine and um, use it again for next year. Okay, so what we wanna talk about today is using our weekly pay. So what is weekly pay? What does that mean? So there's different types of income and I do have a video that explains all the ways that you get income from Stampin' Up! And I will link to that video at the end of this one if I can find it. So no promises. But um, it's out there in one of my Demonstrator Thursday videos. FYI, I do have a playlist that is all my Demonstrator Thursday videos on my YouTube channel. So you can look for that also. So anyway, um, the weekly money that you get from Stampin' Up, in my case, I get it on Wednesdays because that's when my bank deposits it. Some people I know get it on Tuesday because there's a weird thing with banks where some banks will deposit like a day ahead or something. I, I don't know, but my bank does it on Wednesdays. So every Wednesday, I get a paycheck from Stampin' Up if I have had people place orders with me online. There are times I don't get a check or I get a very, very small one because I don't get online orders all the time, actually. Um, a lot of times it's because I, I do a class or a club or some sort of an event and I take in money and then I keep that difference of that money. So I keep the 25% difference and I'll explain that in just a second as well. So if you have people place orders with you online, or if you have customers that place orders with you and they use credit cards, then um, the following week you will receive a paycheck from Stampin' Up! of your 20% or 25% income. If you are a bronze, um, then you're only going to get 20%. If you're bronze elite or above in title, then you get 25% commission. And it's your instant income. It's instant commission. In addition to that, you get a monthly check if you hit certain, um, <clears throat> well, if you have a downline, if you sell over a certain amount in a month, um, and there's different tiers for that, and we can talk about that in another video. But basically, um, the question is, what do you do with that weekly pay? How do you track it? How does that work? I have a sheet in my business budget workbook that I track all of my weekly paychecks on. And I also have PayPal income and income from YouTube and different places like that. So I needed a place to track all those different areas. So what I do is I put all that information um, into uh, my weekly pay sheet and then I make decisions based on what my weekly pay is, how I'm going to spend it. I no longer count it in my monthly um, overall budgeting process because it's too um, 
it fluctuates too much. It's too unstable. So if I knew I was going to get $250 every Wednesday, then I could obviously add that into my monthly planning and just know that I'm going to be using that money um, in a certain way. But with this income, it so fluctuates that uh, I can't project what it's going to be. I can't um, plan for what to use it for during the month while it's happening. So I have a couple of different ideas on approaching this. And I'll be really honest with you, I still haven't figured out exactly how I want to handle it. But um, one approach that I'm trying this month, and I will let you guys know how it goes, is I'm allowing all my deposits from Stampin' Up on, that come in on a Wednesday to just sit in my checking account and I'm not touching them. I'm not doing anything with them except recording them and writing them in and leaving them in my checking account. Then I was thinking at the end of October, on November 1st, I could make a decision on what to do with that money and how it would best be used for my business. Or do I just pay myself that amount of money every month in my personal check? These are all decisions that you have to make as you go. Now the other option is you can get your weekly pay and if there's stuff that you need to you know, run to Staples and get for your business like copy paper or Staples or maybe you need some pens um, like writing pens for customer orders or maybe you need to place a small Stampin' Up! order so that you get the new trimmer or something like that. Um, then maybe you could use it out of that and I do have an area where you can detail out what you've used it for. I think the key component for me is I'm trying to minimize the amount of transactions that are happening in a month. So I'm working on that right now and I honestly, I just always want to be honest and transparent with you guys in that this is a learning process for me too. I don't have all the answers. I just have processes that I have in place to try and if they work for me then you can bet I'm going to share them with you and I'm going to encourage you to do them. If I try something and it doesn't work for me I'm going to tell you about that too. So this is kind of a journey we could take together. If you're somebody who gets um, online orders or have um, credit card orders and there's money being deposited into your account type thing on a weekly basis do me a favor and track it and, and use the budget workbook. Or if you don't have that, you can just track it on a piece of paper and see if you can figure out how you it best works for you to track it and then utilize that money. Um, okay, so the thing um, I wanted to share is how to use that weekly tracker sheet. So we're gonna go to my stamp desk and I'm gonna um, face it down here, the video down, so that you can see that tracker and you can kind of check out how I do things and I would love for you to chime in and tell me what you think. Um, and I will keep you posted on how this works, but we definitely need to be tracking that income because I feel like it is a place where I have really neglected that sometimes when I get like let's say a $35 check on a Wednesday, I think, eh, it's $35 and I just go out to eat or I pull the money out of my account or I place a little order online or who knows what and I just spend the money. This is um, a process I'm working on to avoid doing that because I think that um, just as I've said before, one of the reasons I developed this workbook and one of the reasons I do these videos is because I hear a lot of Stampin' Up! people say, I'm not making any money with Stampin' Up! And they actually are, it's just they're spending it. And then they don't see the fruits of their labor. Or they are not making a ton of money, they, they might be making just a little bit of money, and then they are not utilizing that money in the best way possible. Um, so one of the things that I like to say is you have to treat this business like a hobby, but run it like a business or love it like a hobby and run it like a business. So I think that that can get a little bit fuzzy for people because most people tend to, when you do this as a hobby, which is how I started, um, and I love crafting, it's very easy to just want to buy all the things 
and uh, in fact uh, I'm recording this and this evening I'm going to Michael's to buy um, a wreath so that I can make a wreath with my paper products because I saw it uh, online and in a sample and I can't quit thinking about it so I'm gonna make it so that I can just quit thinking about it and I know you know exactly what I'm talking about so um, so those are the kinds of things we just have to evaluate and I'm working on that and I'm working really hard at being more diligent with my budgeting, not just in my business, but in my personal life, because it's something that I think is really, really important. And I really want to plan well for my future. And I want to be able to teach my daughter these fundamental things that are really important. So anyway, we're going to go over to my stamp desk. I'm going to sit down with you and show you the weekly budget tracker. And um, we'll talk about that there. All right, let's go do that. Okay, so this is the weekly pay summary in the business budget workbook. And um, basically you can see here on October 2nd, I got $253.63 and I put $200 of that into my personal account. So um, out of that, $53.63 stayed in my business account, but you can see here I didn't really document what I used that for or where it went. So that's the thing that I'm trying to get better about. I really want to budget this down to zero so that I know where it went and what it's being used for. So this, <clears throat> this one's blank because, um, honestly, um, when I'm recording this, I haven't been paid yet. So this would be, oh, what is this? Seven, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine. And I don't know what the paycheck is going to be yet because, like I said, I'm recording this video before I know. And um, anything that any orders I get up until a Monday will end up on the Wednesday paycheck. So I'm recording this video on a Monday. There's potential that I could get an order or something like that, and the money from that order would end up on this Wednesday paycheck. So I don't know what this total is going to be. But whatever it is, I'm going to put it here. And then I think I'm just going to leave this area blank and not do anything. And my goal this month is every single paycheck, obviously, except for this one, every one of that I get, I'm going to just leave them in my checking and do nothing with them. And I'm going to see how that works and if that's feasible. If I do have to use some money on a Wednesday out of a check that I receive, I am going to make sure to... Um, Put that information here but I'm thinking that it could be easier to track my pay all through the month keep it and then in one lump sum transfer it to my personal account if that's what I decide to do with it I also wanted to show you my um, tracker um, this is a method highlighting things for different things is a method that I actually learned from the budget mom so I actually, a lot of this book is kind of pulled from her idea, um, like most things online, you know, we see something and then we tweak it and change it and figure out how it will work for us. And so if you don't know who she is, you could check her out. And that's who I use for all my personal budgeting needs um, for within my household. So you can see here that um, I've done some team orders. My checking account is actually overdrawn right now by $4.86 because I did some stupid thing where I wasn't paying attention to stuff and um, I, had, <clears throat> I had some stuff come out prior to this and it messed me up. So anyway, um, luckily with my bank account, my business account, I can be overdrawn like up to $20 and I don't get any fees or anything like that. So what will happen is I will get paid on Wednesday. This will go back into the positive. I always tell you guys that I'm going to be honest and upfront with you and I want you to see that. Now, does that mean that I don't have money set aside in other places? No. I have money in my envelopes. I have money in my savings and things like that. But um, I wanted to just show real honest numbers with you and that is actually what is sitting in my business checking account right now it has happened to me from time to time and so this was just very poor um, budgeting on my part and that's how that's 
that's what happens. Um, so I wanted to also show you really quick because last week we did uh, my budget. Well, the the total final doubt for the year and my paycheck was very large, um, 97.8125, biggest paycheck I've gotten. Um, my second business biggest was February of last year. The amount of blessing I feel around that number, you there's literally no describing it. Um, I've lived most of my life paycheck to paycheck and um, struggling and so for me, living the way that we're living now, which is just comfortably, is huge and it's a huge blessing to me. And so you can see here that yes, my paycheck that was deposited was this amount, but I have a lot of bills going out. Um, for one thing, taxes of $1,400. Um, plus these items over here. So for total, I had $4,047.83 that was gonna go directly towards my business expenses. And then I was able to deposit $5,500 into my personal account. Now, as you know, that is not a normal thing every month because last month, my check that I was able to deposit into my personal account was $1,250. So you can see that that's a huge difference between the two. Um, my expenses were also less because I didn't have to pay taxes. I pay taxes quarterly and they're expensive. So um, $12.50 is what my check was last month. So it ebbs and flows and if we go back to August, I was able to deposit $2,890, or no, I'm sorry, $2,800 even in August. So it ebbs and flows and you know what where I might have a lot of income this month maybe last month I didn't or you know things like that. So we I have to always be looking at those things and just because this check was really nice doesn't mean my next one will be that way. Um it's not super consistent at this point. My goal and prayer and hope is that it gets there, but you know, we'll see. So this is my monthly team budget. Um, I actually didn't write that in, did I? Um, I had budgeted $350 for a team budget and I'm actually over budget by 464 or by $114.99. So um, that's okay because on another month I might be under budget. So it's gonna be all right. Um, and I don't have my actual written out yet on what I've spent, so we'll we'll see. Um, all right, so yeah, that's the weekly pay summary and my expense tracker, and um, I've already numbered um, November. I'm getting that ready, and we'll be able to track November's income and expenses too. All right. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. If you have any questions for me, please feel free to drop them in the comments below. Um, I appreciate you watching. And if you need to purchase the business budget workbook, you can do that at the link below the video. It's $24.99 and that gives you lifetime access. Thanks so much. Bye.